Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. An act of reparation to the most holy face of Jesus in this, the most blessed sacrament. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. The Lord bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, here in the tabernacle and in all your churches throughout the world, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. An act of contrition. O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all of my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Eternal Father, we humbly offer you an act of reparation to the holy face of Jesus for the sacrileges, outrages, and indifferences by which he is offended, and to offer to you, O Eternal Father, his most holy face for the salvation of our country, and to obtain the conversion of many sinners. Amen. Offering of the holy face of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father, in order to appease his justice and draw down mercy upon us. Eternal Father, turn away your angry gaze from our guilty people, whose faces become unsightly in your eyes. Look instead upon the face of your beloved Son, for this is the face of him in whom you are well pleased. We now offer you his holy face, covered with shame and disfigured by bloody bruises, in reparation for the crimes of our age, the crimes of communists and the blasphemers, and for the profaners of the holy name and of the holy day in order to appease your anger justly provoked against us. Because your divine Son, our Redeemer, has taken upon his head all the sins of his members, that they might be spared, we now beg you, Eternal Father, to grant us mercy. Amen. Prayer of Blessed Mother Maria Perina. O blessed face of my kind Savior, by the tender love and piercing sorrow of Our Lady, as she beheld you in your cruel passion, grant us to share in this intense sorrow and love, so as to fulfill the, will, the, will, the holy will of God, to the utmost of our ability, amen. We adore the most holy face of Jesus in this holy tabernacle, where he lives hidden for love of us. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament. Adorable face of Jesus, whom all the angels adore, may you be known, loved, and adored by the whole world. Sacred face of Jesus, we desire to love and honor you more and more in reparation for the many sins committed against you. Through the merits of your precious blood and your holy face, we beg your pardon and mercy. We salute you, we adore you, and we love you, O adorable face of our beloved Jesus, as the noble stamp of the divinity. Completely surrendering our souls to you, we most humbly beg you to stamp this seal upon us, so that the image of God may once more be reproduced by its imprint in our souls. Amen. O oh my God, we believe, we adore, we trust, and we love thee. And we, pray, and we beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not trust, and do not love thee. O most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we adore you profoundly. We offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles throughout the world, in reparation for all the sacrileges, outrages, and indifferences by which he is offended. By the infinite merits of the sacred heart of Jesus, which are manifested in his holy face, and by the merits of the immaculate heart of Mary, we beg the conversion of poor sinners. God our Father, may you receive this offering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle, in reparation for the crimes of communists, blasphemers, and for the profaners of your holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. O Jesus, through the merits of your holy face, have pity on us and on the whole world. O Jesus, through the merits of your holy face, have pity on us and on the whole world. O Jesus, through the merits of your holy face, have pity on us and on the whole world. O bleeding face, O face divine, be every adoration thine. O bleeding face, O face divine, be every adoration thine. O bleeding face, O face divine, be every adoration thine. The Holy Face Prayer for Sinners by St. Teresa of the Child Jesus and of the Holy Face. Eternal Father, since thou hast given us for our inheritance the adorable face of thy divine Son, we offer that face to thee and beg thee in exchange for this coin of infinite value 
to forget the ingratitude of souls dedicated to thee, and to pardon all poor sinners. Amen. The Golden Arrow, in honor of the Trinity. May the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and ineffable name of God be forever praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. By all the creatures of God and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the adorable face of thy beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the honor and glory of thy name, for the conversion of sinners, and the salvation of the dying. Amen an act of consecration. O Lord Jesus, we believe most firmly in you. We love you. You are the eternal Son of God and the Son incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You are the Lord and absolute ruler of all creation. We acknowledge you, therefore, as the universal sovereign of all creatures. You are the Lord and supreme ruler of all mankind, and we, in acknowledging this your dominion, consecrate ourselves to you now and forever. Loving Jesus, we place our families under the protection of your holy face and of your Virgin Mother, Mary, most sorrowful. We promise to be faithful to you for the rest of our lives and to observe with fidelity your holy commandments. We will never deny before men you and your divine rights over us and all mankind. Grant us the grace to never sin again. Nevertheless, should we fail, O divine Savior, have mercy on us and restore us to your grace. Radiate your divine countenance upon us, and bless us now and forever. Embrace us at the hour of death in your kingdom for all eternity, through the intercession of your Blessed Mother, of all your saints who behold you in heaven, and the just who glorify you on earth. O Jesus, be mindful of us forever, and never forsake us. Protect our families, O Mother of Sorrows, by the eternal glory which you joy in heaven, through the merits of your bitter anguish and the sacred passion of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Obtain for us the grace that the precious blood shed by Jesus for the redemption of our souls. Be not shed for us in vain. We love you, O Mary. Embrace us and bless us, O Mother. Protect us in life and in death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Prayer of St. Teresa, the child Jesus, to the Holy Face. O Jesus, who in thy bitter passion didst become the most abject of men, a man of sorrows. We venerate thy sacred face, for on there once did shine the beauty and sweetness of the Godhead. But now it has become for us as if it were the face of a leper. Nevertheless, under those disfigured features, we recognize thy infinite love, and we are consumed with the desire to love thee and to make thee loved by all men. The tears which well abundantly in thy sacred eyes appear to us as so many precious pearls that we love to gather up, in order to purchase the souls of poor sinners by means of their infinite value. O Jesus, whose adorable face ravishes our hearts, we implore thee to fix deep within us thy divine image and to set us on fire with thy love, that we may be found worthy to come to the contemplation of thy glorious face in heaven. Amen. The Litany of the Holy Face. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Adorable face of Jesus, masterpiece of the Holy Spirit, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, perfect image of the humanity of Mary, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, everlasting joy in the sight of Mary and Joseph, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, adored by the angels in Bethlehem, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, splendor of the Holy Family, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, vanquisher of demons, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, consoling relief of the sinners, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, gentle relief of the burden, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, affirmer of brotherly charity, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, shining like the sun on Mount Tabor, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, resplendent joy of the apostles, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, bowed to the ground in the garden of Gethsemane, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, whose glance caused Peter to weep bitterly, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, covered, struck, and taunted in the brutal buckling, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, covered with spittle from vile mouths, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, whose head was crowned with thorns and struck with a reed, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, taunted in the horrible agony, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, praying for your executioners, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, veiled in the pallor of death, save us. 
Adorable face of Jesus, imprinted on the holy shroud, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, resplendent on Easter morning, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, radiant in the ascension, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, splendor of paradise, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, adoration of the angels, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, everlasting joy of the saints, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, calling the elect to eternal glory, save us. Adorable face of Jesus, veiled in the adorable sacrament of the altar, save us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lord, show us your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, show us your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, show us your face, and we shall be saved. The Chaplet of the Holy Face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and all the other instruments of his holy passion, that you may put division in the camp of your enemies. For as your beloved Son has said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fail. May God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee before his face. May the thrice holy name of God overthrow all their plans. May the holy name of the living God split them up by disagreement. May the terrible name of the God of eternity stamp out all their godlessness. Lord, we do not desire the death of the sinner, but that he be converted and live. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. In honor of the Trinity, may the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and ineffable name of God be forever praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth by all the creatures of God, and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ in the most holy sacrament the altar. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the adorable face of thy beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the honor and glory of thy name, for the conversion of sinners, and the salvation of the dying. In honor of the sense of touch of Jesus, my Jesus mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of hearing of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of sight of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of smell of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. 
Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. In honor of the sense of taste of Jesus, my Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, forever, and ever. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. My Jesus' mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. For the last three prayers, we think about the wounds to his holy face, the slaps that he endured, and the pain from the crown of thorns. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. Arise, O Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee from before thy face. To honor the seven last words of Jesus from the cross and the seven stories of Our Lady, this week we remember the fifth word from the cross, I thirst and the fifth sorrow of Mary, which is the crucifixion of Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle, in reparation for the crimes of communists, and blasphemers, and for the profaners of the holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. O God, our protector, look upon us and cast thine eyes upon the face of thy Christ. Prayer to obtain the settlement of all our needs. O eternal Father, since it has pleased our divine Savior to reveal to mankind in our present century the power residing in his holy face, we now avail ourselves of this treasure in our great needs. Since our Savior himself promised that by offering to you, O eternal Father, the holy face of Jesus disfigured in the Passion, we can procure the settlement of all the affairs of our households and that nothing whatsoever will be refused us. We now come before your throne. Offering to you, O eternal Father, this adorable countenance, disfigured with painful bruises and covered with shame and confusion, we beg through the merits of this face to obtain these our most pressing needs. Please grant grace and peace to Ukraine, defeat our enemies and remove the hardness from their hearts so that they can be converted. Please grant the grace and peace to Israel and Palestine. We ask you to turn to the two children who are especially concerned to us. We ask for the grace that their parents are requesting. If their parents should need something during this most difficult time, please grant them the grace of helping them. For the repose of the soul of Father Ian and the health and attentions of Betty and Mark. For the speedy recovery and health of Michael Shimega and for the health and attentions and support of Jean. For the health and attentions of Elizabeth Ann. Please bless Father Yanko and his children and his entire family today and forever. Please bless Father Mikhailo and his children and his entire family today and forever. Please bless all those who help in the parish to run the church. Please bless them and their families today and forever. Please accept their thanks for all the graces we have received that we may have forgotten to thank you for. Grant us pardon, Eternal Father, for the worst crimes of our age, which are atheism, blasphemy, and desecration of your holy days. Avert us from Avert from us destruction by war and its consequences, which loom to the malice of revolutionary men, 
who have risen up to stamp out religion from the face of the earth through false indoctrination, and who now stand ready to impose their wicked designs with militaristic force. May this offering of the holy face of our Savior before your throne of majesty obtain for us deliverance from all these evils. Send us, O God, and zealous and enlightened laborers by conferring many vocations to the priesthood and to the religious, so that by their prayers, their works, and their sacrifices, they may spread the blessing of your church and confound your enemies. Amen. Following saints have been given to us by our Lord to be our patrons in this devotion. We ask them to pray for all these intentions. Our Lady of La Salette, pray for us. St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, pray for us. St. Veronica, who wiped the blood, sweat, dust, and spittle from the face of Jesus, pray for us. St. Teresa of the Child Jesus and of the Holy Face, pray for us. St. Louis, King of France and great defender of the Holy Name of God, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Jude, pray for us. St. Peter, Prince of the Apostles, pray for us. St. Padre Pio, pray for us. St. Martin of Tours, pray for us. St. Augustine, pray for us. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Gertrude the Great, pray for us. St. Gaetano Catanzo, pray for us. Blessed Maria Perina, pray for us. O Lord Jesus Christ, in presenting ourselves before thine adorable face to ask of thee the graces of which we stand most in need, we beseech thee above all to grant us that interior disposition of never refusing at any time to do what thou requires of us by thy holy commandments and divine inspirations. Amen. Pope Pius IX's prayer to the holy face of Jesus. O my Jesus, cast upon us a look of mercy. Turn thy face towards each one of us, even as thou didst turn to Veronica not that we may see it with the eyes of our body, for we do not deserve to do so. But turn it towards our hearts, that being sustained by thee, we may ever draw from that powerful source the vigor necessary to enable us to wage the combats we have to undergo. Eternal Father, we offer thee the adorable face of thy beloved Son, for the honor and glory of thy holy name, and for the salvation of all men. In honor of the Trinity, may the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and ineffable name of God be forever praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, by all the creatures of God, and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the adorable face of thy beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the honor and glory of thy name, for the conversion of sinners, and the salvation of the dying. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Blessed be our God, always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, O God. Glory be to you. Holy God, holy mighty, all in immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now and forever and ever, amen. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come, let us bow in worship before the King, our God. Come, let us bow in worship and fall down before the very Lord Jesus Christ. shall return evils upon my enemies with your truth O Lord destroy them freely I shall sacrifice to you I will confess your name O Lord for it is good for you have delivered me from every tribulation and my eyes have looked down on my enemies Psalm 54 give ear to my prayer O God and do not disdain my supplication attend to me and hear me I was grieved in my pondering and was troubled by the noise of an enemy and by the affliction of a sinner. For they turned their lawlessness upon me and in wrath they were indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me and the terror of death fell upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me and darkness covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove that I shall fly away and be at rest? Behold, I have fled far away, and I have I lodged in the wilderness. I waited for the one that would save me from the faint-heartedness and the tempest. Drown their voices, O Lord, and confuse their tongues, for I saw lawlessness and dispute in the city. Day and night it will encircle it at its walls. Lawlessness, trouble, and injustice are within it, and usury and deceit did not leave its streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it. And if he hate, and if he that hates me had boasted against me, I could have hid it from him. But it was you, O oh man, like-minded, my guide and my familiar friend, who made food sweet together with me in the house of God. We walked in oneness of mind. Let death come upon them, and let them go down to Hades alive. For evil is in their dwellings, in the very midst of them. 
As for me, I cried out to God, and the Lord listened to me. Evening and morning and at noon I will recount, I will declare, and he shall hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from those who approach me, for there were many who were opposed me. God will hear and will humble them, he who existed before the ages. For there is no change in them, for they have not feared God. He stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his face, and their hearts convened. Their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast your care upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. But you, O God, will bring them down to the pit of destruction. Men of blood and deceit shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in you. Psalm 90. He who lives by the help of the Most High will dwell in the shelter of the God of heaven. He will say to the Lord, You are my protector, my refuge, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of hunters and from the troubling word. He will shade you with his shoulders and beneath his wings you will hold. Like a shield his truth will encircle you. You will not fear terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the thing that prowls in the darkness, nor mishap and the noonday demon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right, but it will not come near you. With your eyes you will observe and see the reward of sinners. For you, Lord, are my hope. You have made the Most High your refuge. Evils will not approach you, nor scourge draw near your dwelling. For he commanded his angels to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you on their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on asp and cobra and trample down lion and dragon. Because he hoped in me, I shall deliver him. I will shelter him because he knew my name. He will cry to me and I will hear him. I am with him in trouble. I shall rescue and glorify him with length of days. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, in the sixth day, in the sixth hour, you nailed to the cross the sin which Adam presumed to commit in paradise. Now also tear up the list of our iniquities. And save us, O Christ, our God. O Lord, on the sixth day and at the sixth hour, you nailed to the cross the sin which Adam presumed to commit in paradise. Now also tear up the list of our iniquities and save us, O Christ, our God. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and do not disdain my supplication. O Lord, on the sixth day and at the sixth hour, you nailed to the cross the sin which Adam presumed to commit in paradise. Now also tear up the list of our iniquities. And save us, O Christ, our God. As for me, unto God have I cried, and the Lord listened to me. sin which Adam presumed to commit in paradise. Now also tear up the list of our iniquities and save us, O Christ, our God. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. As we have no boldness because of our many sins, entreat the one born of you, Virgin Mother of God, for a mother's plea has great power to obtain the Master's Do not despise the supplication of sinners, O pure one, for he is merciful and able to save. He who even accepted to suffer for us, a troparian intonate from the hand of Guide of orthodoxy, teacher of piety and purity, luminary of the world and spine, adornment of hierarchs, so wise Prophius. You have enlightened all by your teaching, so spiritual Intercede with Christ our God for the salvation of our souls. Let us be attentive. Peace be with all wisdom. Let us be attentive. The Prochemenon in the fourth tome. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our helper is the God of Jacob. The of Isaiah. Let us be attentive. The bricks fell, but let us hew stones, and let us cut down sycamores and cedars, and we shall build ourselves a tower. But God shall overthrow those who rise up against them on Mount Zion, and scatter their enemies. The Syrians from the rising of the sun the Greeks from the setting of the sun, and those who shall de devour Israel with open mouth. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is still uplifted. But the people did not turn until they were strong, yet they did not seek the Lord. So the Lord took away head and tail from Israel, great and small, in one day. The elder and those who admire persons, this is the head. The prophet who teaches lawlessness, this is the tail. For those who bless this people lead them astray, and they lead them astray so as to destroy them. Therefore God will have no joy in their young men, nor mercy on their orphans and widows, for all of them are lawless and evil. Every month mouth speaks injustices, for all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is still uplifted, for lawlessness burns like fire, and like dry grass it shall be consumed by fire, and burn in the thickets of the forest. It shall devour all the hills round about. Because of the Lord's wrath, the entire land is burned up, and the people are as fuel for the fire. No
No man will have mercy on his brother, but one shall turn aside to the right hand, for he shall be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand and not be satisfied. Every man shall eat the flesh of his own arm. Manasseh shall devour Ephraim, and Ephraim Manasseh. Together they shall besiege Judah. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is still uplifted. Woe to those who write evil things, for when they write such things, they turn aside judgment from the poor and rob judgment from the needy of my people, that the widow may be their prey and the orphan a spoil. What will they do in the day of visitation? For affliction will come to you from afar, and to whom will you flee for help? Where will you leave your glory, so as not to fall into captivity? For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is still uplifted. Wisdom. A reading from the book of Genesis. Let us be attentive. And the Lord God said to Noah, and to the ark you and all your family, because I have seen your righteousness before me in this generation. You shall also bring with you into the ark the clean cattle by sevens, male and female, and the unclean cattle by twos, male and female, and the clean birds of heaven by twos, male and female, to keep seed alive on the face of all the earth. For after seven more days I will cause it to rain on the earth forty days and forty nights, and I will blot out from the face of the earth every living thing I made. So Noah did all the Lord God commanded him. Wisdom. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Let us be attentive. Now therefore, my son, hear me. Blessed is the man who shall hearken to me, and the man who shall guard my ways, who watches daily at my doors, who keeps watch at the doors of my entryways. For my issues are the issues of life, and grace is prepared from the Lord. But those who sin against me act ungodly toward their own souls, and those who hate me love death. Wisdom built her house, and she supported it with seven pillars. She offered her sacrifices. She mixed her wine in a bowl and prepared her table. She sent her servants, inviting people to the bowl with a lofty proclamation, saying, He who is without discernment, let him turn aside to me. And to those in need of discernment, she says, Come, eat my bread, and drink the wine I mixed for you. For lack of discernment, and you shall live. Seek discernment, so you may live, and keep straight your understanding with knowledge. He who chastises evil men shall receive dishonor to himself, and he who reproves the ungodly man shall be blamed himself. Do not reprove evil men, so they may not hate you. Reprove a wise man, and he will love you. Give the opportunity to a wise man, and he will be wiser. Instruct a righteous man, and he shall continue to receive it. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the counsel of saints is understanding. For to know the law is characteristic of a good mind. For in this manner you will live a long time, and the years of your life shall be increased. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Jesus to Christ. Slava to me. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 
In the book of Genesis, we find a remarkable account of obedience and faithfulness in the life of Noah. Today, let us reflect on Genesis chapter 7, verses from 1 to 5, where we witness Noah's response to God's command to build the ark. God spoke to Noah, saying, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. Noah's righteousness was not merely, merely a label. It was a reflection of his deep and abiding relationship with God. In a world corrupted by sin, Noah stood out as a beacon of obedience. God instructed Noah to gather the animals two by two and to enter the ark with his family. Imagine the enormity of the task and the faith required. Noah faced ridicule from those who could not comprehend the purpose of such an undertaking. The world had not seen rain before, and building an ark on dry, on dry land seemed absurd. Yet, Noah trusted in the Lord's guidance, and he obeyed, obeyed without hesitation. In verse 5, we read, And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. His obedience was not conditional or half-hearted. It was complete and unwavering. Noah's stories prompts us, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, to consider our own response to God's commands in our lives. In a world filled with destruction, temptation, and skepticism, how willing are we to trust and obey God, even when the past seems unconventional or challenging? The ark is a symbol of refuge and salvation, a place of safety amid the impending storm. In our lives, God pro provides a similar refuge through our faith in Jesus Christ. Just as Noah entered the ark for safety, we find shelter in Christ, who is our refuge from the storms of life. As we reflect on Noah's obedience, let us, the brothers and sisters in Christ, examine our hearts. Are we willing to step into the ark of God's grace, trust in Him, even when we don't fully understand? May we cultivate a spirit of obedience and face that mirrors Noah's, recognizing that God's plans are higher than our own. In conclusion, let us echo the words of the psalmist of Psalm 119, verse 60. I hasten and do not delay to keep your commandments. May we, dear brother and sister in Christ, like Noah, respond promptly and wholeheartedly to God's call, finding refuge in his love and grace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava the Vicky. Let your compassion hasten to meet us, for we are left in the depths of distress. O oh God, our Savior, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O oh Lord, our God, forgive us our sins. Rescue us for the sake of your name. Святый Божий, святый крепкий, святый бессмертный, помилуй нас. Святый Божий, святый крепкий, святый бессмертный, помилуй нас. Святый Божий, святый крепкий, святый бессмертный, помилуй нас. Слава Отцу и Сыну и Святому Духу. 
и ныне во всех час и на веки вечни. Аминь. Пресвято Троицы, помилуй нас, Господи, у чистых грехи наши, Владыку прости беззаконья наши, Свято и завитай целы немочи наши, Имени Твого ради. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Слава Отцу и Сыну и Святому и ныне во всех часах и на веки вечни. Аминь. И не веди нас в спокусу, а веди свои нас в битву. Порди киндом де павре, де глория, и от Спадр, Сан и Холи Спирит, и на вен форевер и евер. И на миру, и в дыр, 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 Upon a cross you stretched out your most pure hands to gather all the nations who sing to you. O Lord, glory be to you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We bow pure image, O oh kind Lord, and beg pardon for our sins, O oh Christ our God. Of your own will you consented to ascend the cross in the flesh, to free our handiwork from the enslavement to the enemy. In thanksgiving Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй. Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй. Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй. Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. In every season, in all, at every hour, in heaven and on earth, you are worship and glorify, O good God, long-suffering, rich in mercy, loving the 
just and compassionate to sinners, calling all to salvation by the promise of blessing to come. Now at this very hour, Lord, accept our prayers and direct our lives in the ways of your commandment. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, correct our thoughts, and make our knowledge whole and sober. Deliver us from every distress, evil, and pain. Surround us with your holy angels and with a rampart, so that protected and guided by, the, by their hosts we may reach the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now and forever and ever, Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, drive from the spirit of indifference and discouragement, lust for power and idle chat. Instead, grant to me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. God, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me, my sins, sin, and have mercy on me. I have, I have sinned sin without, without number. Forgive me, O Lord. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sin, and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sin, and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sin, and have mercy on me. I have sinned without, without number. Forgive me, O Lord. O Lord and Master of my life, drive from me the spirit of indifference and discouragement, lust for power and idle chatter. Instead, grant to me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, yes, O Lord, Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not the judge the brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Боже Господи, сили всього творіння, сотворителю, ти з милосердя не зрівняної милості твоєї послав на спасіння роду нашого єдинородного сина твого Господа нашого Ісуса Христа. І дорогоцінним Його Христом розписку гріхів наших розірвав і переміг начало і владу темряві. Тож, владико чоловіколюбний, прийми від нас грішних ці вдячні і влагальні молитви і визволь нас від усякого згубного і темного гріха, від усіх видимих і невидимих ворогів, що бажають вчинити нам зло, до страху Твого прикуй тіла наші і не допусти сердець наших до слів або помислів лукавих, але любов'ю Твоєї проймі душі наші, що повсякчас на Тебе дивлячись і світлом Твоїм керуючись, бачили Тебе неприступне і вічне світло, та щоб невпинно хвалу і подяку віддавали Тобі, беззначальному Отцеві, з єдинародним Твоїм Сином, і всесвятим, і благим, і животворним Твоїм Духом, нині повсякчас і навіки вічні. Beatitudes on page 27. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Bless 
blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Remember us, O Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. Lord, the choir praises you, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come to him and be enlightened. And your ways shall not be ashamed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angel and archangel, with all the heavenly hosts, praise you, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Sabbaths, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Now and forever and ever, amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. Light from light, the true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For our salvation, he came down from by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He 
suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scripture. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. With the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophet. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptist for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O God, remit, remove, and forgive our sins committed with full will. Fully, or through the neglect, by word or deed, knowingly, or in ignorance, in mind or thought, during the day or during the night, forgive all our sins, for you are good and you love mankind. Our Father, who art in heaven, and be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Approve the fear of God and with faith. I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. The 
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Let The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and the humble in 
one spirit he will save. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, and from them all he will rescue them. The Lord will guard all their bones, not one of them will be crushed. Wretched is the death of sinners, and those who hate the righteous will go wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and all who hope in him will not go wrong. Glory be to you, Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Christ, our true God, through the praise of His immaculate Mother, of the holy glories and all praise for the Apostle of St. John of Pilate's Church, it is our venerable Father and Confessor Procopius the Decapolitan, for his day it is, and of all the saints will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Thank you all who joined us this morning in our service. Very blessed day for everyone. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Nabik. Having suffered, Closing him is on page 171, 171.